The history of science, if you go back to when the earth sciences first became a thing, and earth science would be like archaeology, geology, that kind of thing, uh, when it first became a thing, it was tasked with proving the Bible right. We was expected to find evidence of catastrophes, big floods, the Tower of Babel, all this kind of stuff. We look walls of Jericho. It's looking for all these major catastrophes. And then we get uh, Charles Darwin, basically gradualistic things. Erosion happens. It doesn't have to be a major flood. So almost overnight, science went from being tasked with proving the Bible right to being tasked with proving the Bible wrong. No longer were catastrophic means accepted. They weren't even looked for, they weren't accepted anymore. That catastrophism, it was known, was not accepted really in science all the way up until the KT impact was accepted in 1980. When Alvarez got that pushed through, science was like, okay, well maybe, they call it punctuated equilibrium now, which is things naturally happen slowly, but every now and again they're punctuated by some horrible catastrophe. The kind of stuff a kid could suss, right? But for science, it took 150 years because of the dogma pushing back and forth. So this isn't new. What we're seeing right now is definitely, they're gonna to try to tell you things like the Clovis first is, is a, it's a one-off. And it's, this, is, this is standard operating procedure. To me, it's, it's amazing to me that it gets that, it gets that far out.